if there's men that watch this show, if they've learned anything, it's probably how to respect and how to have a long-term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Because my thing is like, you, you're, you're like, just, you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah. yeah. You understand? Like you have to get Are to either of you married? where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage, of having a family with, etc. And unfortunately in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So we live so in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material. And most aren't simply, that's just what it is. So you guys are, right. if you guys that? method is so good, why aren't you married? Again, because men are the ones that decide if they want to get married. Choice. So, so you choose not to be married. Yes, yeah, because men are You're the one. We're the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Right. And um, you're 34, right, Myron? Yes. And um, do you plan on getting married someday? Do you think it's important? Eventually, the nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Oh, well, thank you for saying that about me. Good job, but a lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. I don't have that ability. You're not married. That's by choice. Oh, but you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. So you use the sugar daddy websites as dating sites. Yes. Yeah, so we did a whole episode. And, and on then this. you complain about women being shallow. I never complained about women being you shallow. You say you say it's hard to find a good woman because they're they're motivated by material things and stuff. And yet you're seeking women specifically a certain type of woman. Obviously, that would be on a sugar daddy website. So it seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find women. What? Okay, so you sorry, well, I'll, I'll say. It. Do you want me to say it again slower? I am not a big fan of Ethan in any way, shape, or form. But I gotta admit, he made a couple of excellent points of order. As a man, you have to understand that you will only find a good woman in the environment where she's at her best. It's so funny that men will complain about not finding the right woman, but then look in the wrong places. If fresh and fit are only seeing women that are for the streets, then what are they looking for? 7 out of 10 times, the woman that doesn't look like the ones on the show is exactly what wife material is. Myron should have just said, nah, I don't want marriage, and that would have been fine. Because if a woman says she's single by choice, they will have all this smoke for her. They want women who are easy, beautiful, who won't demand anything of them, and then get mad when the women they seek out are not praising the ground they walk on. It is ridiculous. Maybe if they had more average guests on, people that live in reality, both men and women, they could gain a little more credibility. Some of you red pill losers need to lay off that shit permanently and go outside. Go get some sun. Go have a conversation with real women. Do something at least and see how that changes your perspective on certain things when it comes to the dating scene and just life in general. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.